In this video, we're going to learn how to use data files to maintain variable values inside of a Modicon Unity project. When we upload and download a project in Unity, it doesn't save any of the values of the actual registers itself. It only saves the initial value column, which is used for initial download or cold start on the project. And in this case, we just download it to the project. So you can see the value ones here. And this has nothing in it, so it does zero. Matches to the animation table, where everything is a one except for a zero. So in this project, I'm going to make them different from the initial value. And then I'm going to come under PLC, save data from PLC to file. And you can notice here that there's two different areas of memory. There's located data, which I can filter based on percent M and MWs in a certain range. And in this case, that means that this area over here with the located data it will be saved to this file right here. And I am not checking the unlocated data. So I will not save any of the unlocated variables because I'm not checking this box. So all the variables over here, which is the unlocated data, will not be saved inside of this file. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file name and all the variables inside of here that are being saved are two. I'm going to change everything over to a value three here by doing this. And now when I go to restore it, choose my file. You'll notice that all of the located variables got restored back to the value that was saved, but the unlocated data did not get affected in the project. So right now it's an education. We have to transfer to and from the project for the actual project files. And there's a separate uh, save data from PLC to file for the data and to the PLC to restore. One of the ways to get around that is to actually come into tools project settings, variables, and you can see here that there's actually a new setting inside of Unity checkbox that if you check it, save, restore data request, what that actually does is it's kind of like a little bit of a reminder. So if I, right now I have two inside of here, I will make them all three again. And I'm gonna come back into the PLC. I'm gonna transfer project to the PLC. And this is your normal download process. Because that button is checked, it's going to do one extra thing, though. It's going to ask me if I want to put a certain data file for updating the data to what was saved previously. So I'm going to say yes. So instead of all the ones here, it should be whatever saved in this file. And you can see that it saved what was in the file versus what the initial request was.